trans teen has been murdered in England. Brianna Gay was 16 years old and was murdered by two teenagers, a boy and a girl, that have been uh, recently announced. And the thing that honestly gets me, there, there's a few things, but one of the things that gets me is <sighs> they're not even, they're basically trying to say that there isn't enough evidence or there isn't evidence of a hate crime or something like that. The girl was trans. And the fact that this, that she was just ruthlessly murdered by two people, not just one, but two people, suggests this isn't just an off thing. That this isn't just, you know, like, you know, this isn't like the Slender Man case. We all know what England, well, Britain largely, but, you know, England is pretty much the hotbed of it. We all know the types of people that live there. You know, the homophobic, transphobic, you know, racist people. We know what they're like. And, you know, that's not to stereotype all English people because there's actually English people that I actually care deeply for and I love deeply. There's a lot of them that are actually, you know, some of them that are even good comrades of mine. And there's a fair amount of, of actual socialists that live there. So I'm not speaking for all English people, but England is notorious for having its problems. And the fact that they're not even going to even indulge the idea that this was a hate crime says a lot about England and English policing. Not only that, she's not going to even be able to be buried with her, re, with her actual name, with, her, you know, she's not going to be known as Brianna, she's going to be buried with her dead name. She's not going to be buried as beloved daughter, she's going to be misgendered on her tombstone, so she's basically going to be robbed of her identity, her, her actual true self, even in death. And now, see, this plays in a lot to not only just the transphobia of people, just in general, the transphob transphobic society that is England, but, you know, that's also what plays into capitalism and imperialism, too, but I'm not going to go off on that tangent. It just goes to show just the absolute horror that these kids have to deal with in the in the UK. Under the basically under, and I say the UK, and let's be honest, Britain is not a it is not a United Kingdom. It is not, you know, any sort of union in it at all. It is a forced cooperative under English domination. It has been for hundreds of years. You know, the Scots want out for a reason. You know, that's why they're fighting so hard to leave and why, you know, conservative assholes like this are pushing so hard to keep them in the Union. It's why these same assholes keep pressuring Ulster to stay part of England, part of the English Empire, and not rejoin the Republic. It's the same oppression that has essentially beat the Welsh into submission, pretty much. And yes, there's been a recurring sense of identity in Welsh nationalism, but even still, 
It's the dis. It's the, the the same transphobic culture that exists is due to the concept of you know English dominance and oppression of other people, particularly you know the Celtic and Gaelic people. But that it, it but just the oppression of minorities, whether racial, religious gender and sexual i mean keep in mind england didn't even didn't even repeal its sodomy laws until what about 10 15 20 years ago and there's this recurring theme of transphobia and murder that goes on over there that goes to prove that england is not only just as bad as the united states it's probably worse and at times the u.s is worse but they're pretty much just as abhorrent. This girl will not even be buried with her preferred name, with her right pronouns, with her, you know, with her right gender. They're going to rob her of that because England does not have self-ID laws. In fact, in most parts of the U.S. even, we don't even have a lot of that. Some states do, but a lot of states don't. And in fact, many states are trying to follow the same path that England is doing. You, hell, try, try li being a trans person in, in Texas or Florida and, and ask them, you know, how things are going. You know, they, they basically, they, they of all people know what, what trans kids and trans adults even in England are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. She was 16 years old and she didn't deserve to die. But there are so many people, like J.K. Rowling, for instance, who, li who like Baroness Emma Nicholson, who think that people like her don't even deserve the right to breathe. We're human beings, goddammit. And we deserve to be treated as human beings. But the problem is, they don't view us as human beings. No, they, they view us as pedophiles and groomers. Because that's the rhetoric you always fucking hear. Yet, these same people making these goddamn allegations, how many of them end up coming out, um, coming out in the news as being exposed as being those very people? These cisgender, heteronormative assholes with fascist right-wing views, sometimes even Nazi views, come out and, you know, basically are being exposed as pedophiles or, you know, or they themselves are groomers. I mean, fuck, look at Donald fucking Trump and his connections with Jeffrey Epstein. Or fucking Prince Albert. But trans people are the fucking problem. We don't deserve the rights and privileges that you do, right? Because it's so much easier to sit there and oppress us and call us names and essentially genocide us. And that's perfectly fucking okay. This is why we need revolution. This is why we need to end this bullshit. It's why we need to unite arm and actually, like, get organized. This is what I've been telling trans people, not only, not just for the U.S. sake, but in the U.K. and, yes, even in Canada, because I guarantee you they will come for you next. Or Germany, or France, you know, in Australia, even, Australia, New Zealand, any country that basically exists under under a capitalist and and yeah that basically has a self-described liberal democracy even your social democracy they're going to come for you at some point because the tide of fascism is rising across the globe and you either are going to stand up and fight it or you're going to become a statistic 
16 years old. She did not deserve to die. She deserved to be treated as a human being and to live her life, to get to, you know, grow old, to maybe, ha you know, get married. And she's been robbed of that. And not only robbed of her life, but she's going to be robbed of her afterlife. And to the people that are defending what happened to her, or are basically making some sort of apologia sort of bullshit rhetoric about how, well, you know, she, you know, she's not really a woman. She, it, fuck off. Go fuck the fuck right off. And the and not only just that, but these same people are just kind of like even laughing and basically saying, you know, well, look at all these, you know, butthurt, you know, uh, you know, pedos and butthurt fucking, you know, liberals and stuff like that. Go fuck the fuck right off. This is not the time to make this political. This is not the time to be, you know making accusations that people are, that, whether trans people are this or that. Because again, we aren't. We're human beings that just want to live as our authentic selves. We are just people that just want to live our lives in peace. We do not you know, we do not need to be harassed by people with bigoted and ignorant beliefs that somehow, that are basically fueled by nothing more than, you know, conspiracy theory and misinformation. Like, we're just wanting to, like, the people that make the argument of the, the bathroom argument, we just are wanting to pee. The people that says we don't belong in sports. Well, newsflash. Hormones actually, for instance, the estrogen and the T blockers that we have, they weaken muscle mass. This has been scientifically proven. Oh, wait, you don't believe in science. Fucking idiots. We deserve to play in the sports that w of the gender that we're assigned. We deserve to use the bathroom of the gender that we're assigned. We have a right to identify as the gender that we identify as. We just want to live our lives in peace. That's it. We just want to be treated as equals and as human beings. Why is that so much to ask for? Why is this even a debate? Why do people constantly have to harass and bully, and in this case, murder us? Because you're afraid? What the fuck are you afraid of? Because that... The people that claim that they're not afraid of us is bullshit. You are afraid of us. You're afraid of what you don't understand. You're afraid of... You're afraid because of your own ignorance. You're afraid that our, our way of, of life, our, our being, our, exist, our mere existence... It's a challenge to you. It's a challenge to your societal standards. It's a challenge to, you know, your outdated line of thinking. You're afraid, you know, of change is what you're afraid of. You're afraid of what you don't know and don't understand. You're afraid because of the misinformation and the fucking 
you know, slanderous accusations that get spread about us by your groups of people anyway, you're afraid, you're afraid of us because of that. And because of that, you think that we don't deserve to live. You think that we don't deserve the same rights as you. Well, you're wrong. And frankly, you know, your, your kind is going to die out at some point. There will come a time when people actually will accept us and that we hopefully won't have to live like this, but the very fact that we do because you're too afraid to educate yourself, that you're too afraid of science, that you're too afraid of actual facts. That's why you're afraid of us. You're afraid of what you don't know, what you don't understand. You're afraid of societal change. If she couldn't live as her true self, then at least give her the dignity to live e eternity as how she would have wanted it. But you can't even do that because, again, you're afraid. You're blinded by your own biases and your own goddamn ignorance. You people are disgusting. You people are absolutely abhorrent. And you know what? It should be you guys that are six feet under, not us. Oh, that's such a horrible thing to say. I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of this. I have a... I admit, as a person that has a good family, accepting family, grew up where I did and live where I do, that I don't face nearly the discrimination or have near the concern that a lot of us do. But it doesn't mean that I don't share in the disgust and the fear and the anger of my own community. I have privilege as a trans woman, and I don't deny that. I greatly acknowledge that. And sometimes doesn't seem like I do, but I do. And this is a case where all of us need to stand united. And for fuck's sake, those of you... This is what we're talking about by those of you that keep buying that stupid fucking wizard game. If you need that much nostalgia, fucking pirate it. But if you can, just... It's a shitty game. Don't buy it. Because all you're doing is lending legitimacy to transphobia and to the very people that killed Brianna, the very people that want all of us genocided, you're lending credence to that. And it's so annoying and frustrating for us that you don't understand that, that you don't get it. Of all times, this is the time you need to be standing with us and defending us and fighting for us. And as I said, this is the reason why we need revolution, so we can purge these goddamn transphobic assholes from the face of this planet. And you're either going to stand with us or you're going to be in our way. And we need help. We need to be, we need this, this, I don't even know what, what to say at this point that I haven't. 
and that hasn't been said already. But please just understand that while you hold up your signs and you know say you're an ally, you can words are meaningless. What are your actions? And for those of you buying a stupid fucking game, like I admit, boycotting doesn't do anything. But at the same time, it also lends a loud enough voice because these sa- these people are you are taking this as an excuse or as a reason for legitimizing their hatred and their bigotry and their ignorance. It's not about just the money. It's about the actual the act. It's about what it stands what what that symbolizes. And it doesn't seem like a lot because you're wanting to soak up that nostalgia. I get it. But we just asked you to do one fucking thing and you couldn't even do that. All we want to do is just live our lives. But it's very obvious that people just don't care. And the sad part is, this isn't going to be the first story that we hear about this. It hasn't even been the first story. There's been numerous situations on this in both the U.S., U.K., and other places. You know, they murder trans women in the Philippines. You know, there was one that was killed not too long ago by a fucking serviceman. And then they use the whole trans panic defense. So it really comes down to it. You you say that you're an ally. You say that you, you accept trans people and that you're willing to defend us. Then show it. You know, actually fight, help fight for us. Because right now, it doesn't seem like we're very loved. It doesn't seem like we're very accepted. It doesn't feel like we have allies. It does not feel like anybody is giving a shit about us. It's like how the Nazi, when the Nazis were persecuting and killing the Jews, and killing communists, and killing gay people... In fact, if we could just use the gay people as a perfect, as one of the people of the Holocaust that were killed, as that example. Innocent people like you stood by and either said nothing or didn't, or sit, or were, didn't act out because of what? At the time, I get it. At that time, it was because of the fear and intimidation of the fascists. But you still live under some form of democracy, even if it is oligarchical and bourgeois, you still have some voice. So use that to defend us. Because you just standing idly by while this continues to happen, it makes you complicit. It makes you an enabler. And I'm sorry, but it's the truth. If you actually give a flying fuck about us, then actually use, then actually act on those words. Don't just say it. Act on it. Because otherwise, it's, your allyship is completely meaningless. A trans sister died because you were either too lazy and complacent or too scared for some reason to stand up to these 
assholes, these fascists. And one more thing. This is a perfect time to re be reminded about that age-old expression of they came for the Jews and, you know, no one said anything. And then they came for the, you know, they came for the, the gays and no one said anything. Then they came for the trans people and no one said anything. And then they came for the racial groups and no one said anything. And then they came for me. And then there was no one left to say anything or no one else to help me. That's, that's what's happening right now. In Largely in the U.S. and Britain, but it, not that it's not more widespread. But I'm just focusing on the U.S. and Britain right now. That's where it's heading. You know, we can just... Write this off of, oh my God, that's so horrible. They're being, they're being, you know, they're killing these people. What, what do we do? Well, let's, you know, protest, you know, let's do that. No, you need to do more than just protest. You, you need to do more than just saying a few nice things on Twitter or Facebook. You need to actually get out there and fight for us. Because then, like I said, for the numerous years, it was largely about immigration. So in, in the UK, it was, you know, about people of Islamic descent or, you know, in a lot of cases, even ethnic. It goes to like Pakistani or Indian or whatever group at the time it was. They were persecuting them. And now they're persecuting trans people, gay people too, but more to the point, trans people. And at some point, it's going to get to a point where they're going to start persecuting political beliefs. In fact, in a lot of cases, they already have. I know that they already have in the United States. But all of these are endemic and problematic because these are all the signs of growing fascism and we measure it on a scale of like I think one to ten we have we're kind of bordering on about level six or seven if not higher right now in fact I would say yeah I would say probably about a seven or an eight it's getting bad and it will get a lot worse not just for people like me but for you so, stop with just the talk and the niceties on Twitter and Facebook or Tribal or wherever the fuck you, your, your social media are or posting. It's like trans allyship on, on Instagram. We are not a social media fad. We are not a viral fad. We are not a commodity for your social clout we are people and we need people like you to fight for us because otherwise more of us are going to die and we're essentially going to be genocided or forced back into hiding me i refuse to be i refuse to go back i refuse to be left in fear I defy the intimidation and fear tactics of fascists. So for me, it's not an issue. Because you know what? If I die a martyr, or if, <laughs> let me rephrase that. If I, if I were to die because of my defiance, I die a martyr. At least in my opinion, I do. Or at least maybe maybe that self indulgent bullshit, but I I refuse to live my life in fear. I refuse to let these people get to me. I refuse to go down without a fight. I will shoot somebody before I let them shoot me. I will stab somebody before I let them stab me. I will kill somebody before I let them kill me. 
But if I'm the one that's going to go, someone's going with me. And in this case, it's going to be the person that tried that, that the person that tried or succeeded in killing me. I'm not doing that. I am not going to be sitting by, standing by idly and letting this happen. So if that day comes and fascism takes over, you can cower in fear because you didn't do anything. But I'm not. I'm fighting. And I'm fighting for my literal life. All of us are. Whether you're trans or cis, gay or straight, doesn't matter. We are all at this point fighting for our lives and you need to fucking get off your ass and act like it. I am so tired of this. I am so tired of people not doing anything. I'm fucking angry. I've been telling people for 10 years we need to do something. And this was before I came out as trans. This was and this isn't even about just the trans issues. I've been telling people things are getting bad and they're going to get worse. I've been saying that for 10 years. And they're going to get worse. So do something about it. Get off your ass and do something about it. Get armed. Get angry. And do something about it. Because cushy words mean nothing anymore. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Till next time.